A spacecraft moving with speed v relative to Earth passes Earth on its way to a planet. As a spacecraft passes Earth, clocks on Earth and in the spacecraft show zero. The planet is a distance d from Earth according to an observer on Earth. What are the readings on the Earth clock and on the spacecraft clock when the spacecraft arrives the planet? So this situation looks like this. There is the Earth and uh, the observer on the Earth and there is a rocket which moves with speed v. Let it be to the right. And, and uh, first of all, let's consider what is gamma. Uh, gamma factor is 1 over root 1 minus v squared over c squared, and it's uh, uh, greater than 1 when v is uh, greater than 0. And there is some distance from the Earth to the planet, to the planet, planet, and this distance is equal to d when it is measured in uh, reference frame according to uh, the observer on the Earth. And since, since this distance is stationary, not moving in the Earth reference frame, it will be what it will be the proper length, the proper length. And hence, the observer on the Earth measures the proper length and it is equal to d. But the observer uh, in the spacecraft in moving reference frame will measure the contracted length, which is uh, d divided by gamma. It will be less compared to that uh, in the Earth's reference frame. But, but the observer in the rocket will measure the proper time. Why? Because uh, two events. Uh, what events uh, when it's uh, uh, on the Earth and uh, 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 at the Earth and then at the planet, uh, it will uh, it will be the proper time. Why? Because two events occur at the same point at the same place. So the observer in the rocket will measure proper time t zero, but the observer. The observer on the Earth will measure the dilated time. It will be larger by this gamma factor. And question is time in Earth reference frame and in uh, spacecraft reference frame. So according to the Earth, according to the Earth, time it's what uh, just usual formula time is distance divided by speed uh, so it's just d over v and and uh, you can conclude that it's this time it's a dilated time so in the rocket it becomes what this value this value so time according to the uh, rocket's reference frame it's uh, what this time d over v divided by gamma or or uh, time for the rocket um, can be calculated directly as again distance divided by time oh sorry divided by uh, speed and distance is uh, d over gamma, and speed is v. And if you calculate time for the rocket firstly, you understand that it's uh, uh, what the proper time for uh, the Earth. It uh, must be dilated time, so you just multiply these by gamma to get d over v. So for the Earth's reference frame is d over v, and for uh, the rocket's frame it's uh, d over v over gamma, but what is gamma? Gamma is 1 over root, uh, so it becomes d over v and multiplied by this root.
so for earth and with the root in numerator so a is correct and that's all for this question